Hey, Apple Softers, Austin here. You may know Zynga as the popular company behind all your favorite games like Farmville and Farmville 2 and Farmville 3. <laughs> That's right, folks. It's a trilogy. Well, I bet you were asking yourself, how the hell is Zynga still around? And I asked myself this too when I saw this Wall Street Journal article announcing that post-pandemic life has hurt companies like Zynga who relied on people to stay indoors, on their phones and computers, playing their bite-sized mobile games. That's right, uh, Zynga was loving all the time you were spending on your phone, giving it very valuable data on what ads to serve you and collecting on that delicious microtransaction experience. It is an addiction that no company can put down. Well, now, however, they've actually seen revenue start declining and their user base shrinking. And it's not just because people are putting their phones down and going outside. It's actually thanks to Apple's block on app tracking. You see, Zynga makes about 49% of their revenue from iOS devices and another 46% from Android. Obviously, Google hasn't made the same changes as Apple has. But when a majority of your revenue split is set to fall off a cliff, I mean, I'm sure folks were sweating. Uh, the Wall Street Journal actually reported that this news helped send Zynga's shares down about 16% on Thursday, and the company posted record revenue and bookings for the end of Q2. So the earnings themselves didn't actually align with how the shares dropped. So the market actually got so choppy for the company that they decided to delay Farmville until the fourth quarter of 2021. And I'm sure you're all devastated because you were looking forward to playing this new AAA experience on your iPhone 13s and your Pixel 6s. Well, you got to wait till Christmas, kids. But how does Zynga plan to recover from this, right? They're going to lose their user base and just not do anything about it? Well, that's not really true. They're actually looking to start uh, live events. They're kind of going the Fortnite route, you know, going to include Travis Scott probably. And will this end up uh, paying off? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'd love to see how this strategy works out in something like Farmville or there are many other games. They've actually acquired tons of companies from different countries. And I'm not too sure if the investments that they'd be making in these live events would actually be worth it at the end of the day. Because if folks are just going to start going outside more, if Apple's going to block them from ad tracking software, and maybe Google will follow suit afterwards, although we don't really know about that, uh, then what's to say that investors aren't going to see right through this kind of live event strategy? And I'm not sure that they have the same kind of market capitalization uh, and engagement that Fortnite does, which itself has become a cultural icon, right? Uh, but we'll see if this pays off, huh? And until next time, I'm Uplesoft, and hopefully I can provide y'all some great news in the future on Zynga's record revenue growth. Although, I don't really know how this is going to pan out for them, folks, okay? Until next time, uh, keep on playing Farmville too. you know, put some money in Zynga's pocket to keep them going, all right? I'll see you.